Um, we're going to talk about our trigger jets from T-Jet. Uh, we get lots of calls and questions about how to build a nice professional style uh, spray wand for an existing backpack sprayer that has a cheapy um, spray wand that comes with it. If you want a really nice professional spray wand that lasts a long time, this is uh, several options on how to do that. Um, so our most common option is the 6466 gun jet from T-Jet. Um, this is the one we sell a lot of. This is a pretty basic just trigger and then you can build onto it. So we'll go ahead and start with this one. So all of the options you have with the extensions are you can get straight in four different sizes, curved in four, dif four different sizes, and you can also get an adjustable tip curved one. So if you got some applications that require some adjusting of the nozzle, that's always a good one. So the most common one that, that we sell here is going to be a, probably a 36. And the reason I talk about this, I had this question the other day of what size do I want? It's pretty much based off of how high you want to be off of your contact and maybe how tall you are. If you don't want to wing down, you might want to go with a 36. If you uh, are spraying something up a little higher, you might want the, the 24. So they do offer a lot of options. So our most common one is probably the 36 or the 30. So this will be a 6671-30 attached to a 6466 trigger jet, which just threads on like this, pretty easy. And then we also suggest the um, Sure Grip. It's just a padded extension for your hand so you can get a little uh, comfort on it makes it feel a little better in your hand and that threads right into here sorry pipe thread first and then you can also thread on a swivel if you if you want um, your hose barb to be able to move and not get bound up so this this will swivel without so your hose doesn't get wrapped up so that's a pretty basic one that we sell the most um, as far as the tips go there's a lot of options for that um, one would be just an adjustable cone jet that would thread right on there these are the 5500-x this is an x26 so if you just wanted to put a adjustable cone on there just to do some application that that works perfect. There's several sizes of these too, orifice size. Or if you just want to, um, maybe you're wanting to change tips quite a bit um, and you want to use an XR fan style tip like we got right here, you can adapt it. Now with a curved, you probably wouldn't want a 45, so you'd probably do a straight. And this is a QJ quarter TT-NYB. And what this does is threads in quarter inch pipe thread into these um, a cap, which has the female quarter inch. It is, I believe, a four six seven six dash quarter dash NYB. And then you can just buy the cap and uh, tip combo, the XRC one ten. And if you want to be able to switch it in and out you would have the ability that if you're doing one application, you want to quickly switch to another nozzle, all you could do is take it off and then you can use it that way. Uh, a lot of people do add a, a, a screen, which would drop right in there like that. Um, these come in brass, these come in poly, and you can also get one with a 10 pound check or a five pound check valve. So this has a built in check valve in it so that when you stop the trigger, it will stop the flow. So it won't drip. If you don't need that, you can go with the uh, just the standard cap, which you could drop just a regular XR tip into, and then that will thread right onto the end of the wand, like that. So that's another option.
there's also a 45 if you want to use that on a straight so if you're maybe you're applying something uh, on a bush or a pesticide of some sort you could do that with this same adapter 4676 dash quarter and then put your quarter your quarter by quick jet uh, your T jet quick lug another option is the um, 6590 trigger this is like if maybe you were just doing this will have a quarter inch threads so you could go right into it and you just have a close application with that and you can build it out the same way with the shear grip and the swivel and the last one I want to talk about is a locking uh, we don't sell a lot of these it's a 4688 trigger jet it is um, basically the the 6466 with a locking lever so as you squeeze down it will stay open and then you just pull that trigger when you're done and it pops it back open so basically the same thing as a 4676 with a locking short handle we do have this with a long as well you can add a gasket um, normally if you get them on there and put a little pipe thread on them they'll, they'll be uh, some, some thread sealant they'll be fine but you can also put a um, CP 5871-BU into this cap on top of your nozzle when you thread it in and it'll make a nice sealed tight fit. So we'll link all the part numbers in the description um, and we'll link our original video where we had where we were just building this this gun here in the description and please like and subscribe. Thank you.